greetings and welcome to worship for Sunday, June 27th and the week thereafter. I'm Pastor Amanda Schultz-Garcia from Trinity, Bethany, and Emmanuel Lutheran Churches in Cashton. It is my joy to be able to worship with you this day. May you know that you are a valuable part of our worshiping community. Today we will celebrate Holy Communion, and you are welcome. All are welcome. Today our service is a collection of hymns and psalms. Some of the psalms will be read and others will be videoed. I hope that you enjoy it. Let us begin our worship with our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Let us pray. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit, that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. And hear this word of promise. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Our call to worship is from the 108th Psalm. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. And I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is higher than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Give victory with your right hand and answer me, so that those whom you love may be rescued. Amen. As our service continues, we will alternate between either the reading or a video of a psalm and then singing a hymn, a song together. Enjoy.
For God alone I wait in silence. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. How long will all of you assail me to crush me, as if I were a leaning fence or a toppling wall? They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. They take pleasure in lies. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone I wait in silence. Truly, my hope is in God. God, God alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
rugged cross Stained with blood so divine A wondrous beauty I see For t'was on that old cross Jesus suffered and died To pardon and sanctify me So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday
as thou hast been now forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies I see Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with ten thousand beside great is thy faithfulness great is thy faith Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I am needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto. The 106th Psalm. Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good, for God's mercy endures forever. Who can declare the mighty acts of the Lord or, pro or proclaim in full God's praise? Happy are those who act with justice and always do what is right. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have for your people, and visit me with your salvation that I might see the prosperity of your elect and be glad with the gladness of your people, that I may glory with your inheritance. You remembered your covenant with them and relented out of your steadfast love. You won for them compassion by all who held them captive. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us in from among the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen, Alleluia. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Why 
watching at a waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. All the day long This is my story This is my song Praising my Savior All the day long Grace and peace to you from God our Father and Christ our Savior. I hope that you have enjoyed this service of psalms and songs. The psalms are, are just that. They are songs. Hymns of praise, lament, confession, and trust that give us beautiful and poetic language for our relationship with God. I love to teach about the psalms to our confirmation students. I tell them, it's the easiest book to find. You just sort of let your Bible fall open, and there it is. Of course, inevitably, someone tries this, and they end up in Proverbs, but hey, they're close. <laughs> I tell them you can find any prayer you need in the book of Psalms. Often, learning how to pray, being brave enough to pray, can be a challenge at that age. Well, any age, really. But the Psalms help us with that. If we are wanting to give thanks, we can turn to Psalm 100, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. If we need to confess, we turn to Psalm 51 that gives us the words, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. When we are feeling hopeless, Psalms don't just offer us a silver lining, a chin up, everything will be okay. There are lament psalms where the author comes alongside us in our grief and pain. In Psalm 38, the psalmist writes, All my longings lie before you, Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me, even the light is gone from my eyes. In Psalm 6, 3, my soul is in deep anguish. How long, O Lord, how long? The Psalms are full of images and stories that connect with us and in turn help us to connect with God. The Psalms don't just give a timeline or a, a factual reiteration of an event. The Psalms draw us in and speak right to our souls. However we may feel, there is a Psalm for that. So pray this week. Pray the Psalms, the ones that we've used here in worship or one of your favorites. Be blessed by the word of God, the word of promise for you. You know, Jan Richardson is one of my favorite authors and poets. She writes these beautiful blessings, and I often use them in our worship services. But one of the deepest reasons that, that I have connected with her is that she also is a young widow. Her husband Gary died suddenly, and she responded with poetry and blessings that have been a lifeline for me. The Psalms are like this, too. And she wrote this about Psalm 30, where the psalmist writes, You have turned my mourning, my grieving, into dancing. And Jan Richardson writes, I look at our wedding picture on this eighth anniversary that Gary and I should be sharing together. It would be easy to think that in life, often the opposite is true, that our dancing is turned into mourning. I have a hunch, though, that what the psalmist presents here, what God offers to us, is not a set of opposites, as if we have to choose between them. It is mourning and dancing. 
One of the most beautiful mysteries of grief is that as we learn its rhythms, our hearts become more and more able to hold the sorrow and the joy, and they become inextricably intertwined. This blessing that I share with you was inspired by that morning and dancing song. It's called Blessing in the Turning. May you know the slow mystery in which mourning becomes a dance, turning you toward the gladness that wants to meet you in your grief. May comfort come to enfold you, not to take away sorrow, but to infuse it with tenderness, with rest, with every grace it has. May you give yourself to the rhythms of joy, even when your steps are stumbling, even when you are most fragile and faltering. May you know the dancing that comes with the dying, moving you in time with the heart that has held you always, even when you could not hear its beating, even when you could not bear its love. May the psalms, may the poetry of God's word, may the dancing, the mourning, the lament, and the praise find you and offer you space, a space where God's love will always meet you. Amen. Together, let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With the whole people of God, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Lord God, we pray for the church, our pastors, for our bishop-elect Felix Malpica. May your church stand for justice and love for all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the village of Cashton and for every city and community and for those who live in them. We pray for our local leaders, for our president and leaders of all nations. We pray that the needs of the people would be central to their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for seasonable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth. We give you thanks for the goodness in which you have given us and for the wisdom and will to conserve you this land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the poor and the oppressed, the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them. We pray for the aged and infirmed, the widowed and the orphans, the sick and the suffering. We pray for those we name before you now, out loud or silently in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, O oh Lord, with words and sighs too deep for words, trusting that you hear us and give us your mercy and peace. Amen. May the peace of God be with you always. I thank you for your continued financial support to our churches and ministries. I want to remind you that we are able to continue to offer worship by cable TV and YouTube and other things because of your support. You can feel free to mail your offerings directly to our church office, to a church treasurer, or give a one-time or recurring gift online. Let us pray. Give us, Lord, a heart that gladly gives 
Even as you gave your all for us, so may we give our all to you. Everything in heaven and on earth comes from you, O Lord. We give you only what is yours. May you be praised forever and ever. Amen. In just a moment, we will celebrate Holy Communion. Grab your bread and crackers, wine and juice, and join us, for all are welcome. I'll also offer a blessing for those not taking the elements of Holy Communion. Let us sing. Let us prepare. to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise to God, who out of sheer grace and pure love came to live among us as Jesus, to teach us and to heal us, to give us scripture and words by which to pray and lament. Christ died on the cross for our sins, but our mourning was, sur was soon turned to dancing when Jesus, by the power of God, was risen from the dead, so that we too can hold fast to the promise of everlasting life. In the night that our Lord Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, and he gave thanks, and he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then again, after supper, he took the cup, and he gave thanks, and he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. And just as our Lord boldly loves us, he taught us to boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Take your bread and your crackers and hear this promise. This is the body of Christ broken for you. Take and eat. As you drink your wine, your juice, hear this promise. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Take and drink. If you are not taking the elements of Holy Communion this morning, I invite you to make the sign of the cross on your forehead, reminding yourself that you have been named and claimed as God's very own, and that you are loved no matter what. Amen. And now may this, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. God of abundance, your mercy and grace are everlasting. You have filled us in this meal with bread and wine, your very self. Send us now to go into your world to share your love and compassion with all we meet. In your holy name we pray. 
Amen. Our sending is from the 67th Psalm. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May the light of God's face shine upon us. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations on earth. May God give us a blessing, and may the ends of the earth stand in awe. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. And serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. God be with you till we meet again.